So here we are in Dreams Time, and much like Photolia and Shutterstock, it's a pretty simple process for uploading photos. Again, once you've got all the EXIF data and information and keywords put into the photo itself. Uh, once you've got your account, you just log into your account and then go to Upload Images and click on there. Um, and you can do it just by dragging and dropping again. You can either add files by clicking on here and finding your page, or you can just drag and drop the files. You can also see here on these tabs, you've got uh, places where you can see your unfinished files, if you've had a request for additional format like raw from a client then you, you'll see the request in there um, where you can resubmit if you've had things rejected for certain reasons and you want to resubmit it after maybe clearing up some dust or changing the keywords etc then a list of re refused files so you know what's, uh, what's gone wrong pending files and upload history so you've got all of those there we just want to concentrate on this at the moment but again here you can see instructions tells you what sort of photos to upload um, how to save them that kind of thing and also in their blogs you can uh, you can see more information on what sort of things they're looking for so I'm just going to take the same 10 photos click and drag them into there um, you can see they've all appeared straight away and we're going to click start upload and then once again I'm going to stop the video and come back when it's all done okay so here we are um, once the 10 photos have uploaded to dreams time you're um, sent to the first image in the unfinished files I'm assuming that's going to turn to 8 or 9 or 10 in a minute um, but you can see here this is what we now need to do for each image um, we're going commercial with the fir first option you've got is the license so I'm going to go commercial with this one as you can see unlike Photolia they do accept editorial um, auto populated the title and the description and keyword so that's already there it's pretty easy now what we've got to do is select three categories so again this is a, a scene from from the floods we had in Weymouth so um, you can see here if you look down the left hand column all of the different categories are done out in alphabetical order so it makes it easy and once you get into uploading and once you've done a few then you'll start to know which ones are which on which website so you'll know um, you know you can do these fairly quickly it's been a while since I've uploaded any so um, I'm gonna have a look through here abstract we could possibly have um, let's have a look animals no art and, art, art and architecture we could have we're gonna I'm gonna start off with um, let's have a look uh, landmarks modern buildings uh, generic architecture let's put that one in for that one um, and then we get down to business this is a, a restaurant so I'm not sure if that's going to be on there no uh, holidays not really illustrations no industries we could have food and beverages because it is a cafe oh sorry it's a restaurant and then if we go down to nature this is where I'd like there to be something um, forests generic vegetation Sea and ocean, we could have sea and ocean because that's the sea spilling into Weymouth. Uh, nature, we're looking at water, but let's have a look through first. I'm going to have a look at water, but there's no objects, no people, no technology. Travel, we could put um, Europe or something, but it's not really descriptive enough. So I'm going to go with, what did we say, nature and water. So I've got water, food and beverages for a restaurant, water for the floods, and then generic architecture for the buildings. Um, can't see much more to do there, any, anything better than that. So here we go down to here, we've got um, different usages. So we've got web usage obviously, print usage yes. Sell the rights, we could do that. Um, if I wanted to sell the rights to this photo, I can click there and then use the recommended price or set my own. So they'll, they'll recommend a price between 250 and 5,000 pounds or I could set the price myself. Um, not sure if I want to sell the rights to that um, I'm going to leave those both blank for now but it is an option if you've got a particularly good image that you think is worth a bit more that you'd rather if you think about you can earn 50 cents a time how long is it going to take you to even earn $250 so really you could sell the rights to every single one of your photos if you wanted to that means when someone buys it they own the image outright you have to send them the raw whatever you're not ever allowed to sell or use that photo again so you completely sell the rights when you think about it if you do a portrait shoot or a property shoot or something you can get three four hundred pounds for it if you can get that for one image then fair play I would take the money so it's something I'm considering is selling the rights to to some of these photos but I'm gonna leave it blank for now but it's it's your um, opportunity to to obviously set your own price and things um, I don't want to upload this exclusively so I'm gonna leave that blank no model releases required but again it auto populates with all, all, all the model releases you've already uploaded um, if you need to upload a new one then you can just upload a new one um, through here um, take it to the model release and that, that will allow you to upload um, then we can say blah, 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 property release don't need that but you can have properties property releases didn't have them when I first started luckily but 
you do need them now if it's a property that you either don't own or you're on private land. If you shoot a property from the roads, then I think you're pretty much okay still, but if you're on private property, then you're gonna need a release. Um, that's pretty much it for this. Uh, let's have a look. Um, everything's okay, so I'm gonna click Submit, and that one will go through to the, to the waiting zone, so we'll find out, um, hopefully in a couple of days, whether it's been done or not. Auto-populated to the next photo, you can see again, everything's already done I just need to choose the keywords and the web usage and all that kind of stuff so I'm gonna go through these again and actually um, just do the same for all of them and then I'm gonna pass so I'm gonna pause the video and then come back once they're all done so as I'm going through those I thought I would just show you what happens with an editorial image as you remember I if you've seen the other videos I don't have model releases for these people but I like the photo it shows some danger and it shows Tintagel Castle and one of the reasons I didn't particularly like it there I was having my children running about up there it was very scary so this is going to go as editorial so once you click the editorial um, option then you see that everything else disappears so eventually when that goes through you can see now it says editorial license and you don't have any options for model releases obviously and things like that don't want to do it exclusively but all I've got to do now is select the categories again so I'll do that and I'll do that for the rest of the photos and then like I say come back in a bit so all of those have now been done and if you click on the pending files tab you'll see all of your images there and waiting to be reviewed and if you look here you can see the estimated time for review is 153 hours so that's what 24 4 5 6 days approximately a week to actually get uh, to get seen and um, reviewed so we'll see how that goes but I will come back and add on the page uh, what the results were and also how long it took but uh, that's not too bad so you can see there we've got uh, commercial 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 one editorial which is those people there um, and I again I've put this one through as commercial rather than editorial just to see what happens um, but that's it that's all you need to do um, I'm allowed to submit up to I just notice that 7,000 images a week um, <laughs> might need to do that fairly soon but uh, you can see there that it's fairly straightforward um, like I said again I'll reiterate it please make sure that you put the title description and keywords in the actual EXIF data on the photo when you're processing it in Photoshop or Lightroom or whatever uh, editing software you use it saves so much time when you're actually uploading back in the day I wasn't able to do that um, in 2004 um, because I don't think you're able to do it in Photoshop or we didn't know how to do it or whatever so I had to keep all of my descriptions and titles and keywords on a massive um, document where I used to then cut and paste them as I uploaded them it took forever and it was heaven when they started to auto populate so that was it um, we, they, you could do it in Photoshop but they never auto populated in the agencies so once they started to do that it alleviated so much more time it was fantastic so I recommend you definitely do that always 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 put the detailed information in the photo before you upload it, it saves a lot of time all you've got then got to do is choose the categories and the licenses etc and it's done so yep that's one that one's now ready to be um, reviewed so again I'll let you know when it's done but it's as simple as that and I think the last one we're going to do is Alamy so we'll see you on the next video